Because your congressmen, your senators, when they come back home, they lead you to believe that they go to Washington and they are a roaring lion in Washington, just tearing up the red meat in Washington. Well, I have news for you. They're mice. They are mice. And let me tell you how I learned this. I was a state senator in Virginia for eight years. I won three elections in a rather difficult part of Virginia to do that in for a conservative. And went to Richmond, spent my time there. I was a minority in the majority. I was a conservative in a liberal Republican caucus. Very frustrating, very painful. Later on, I ran for attorney general, statewide office. So I traveled all over Virginia. And I encountered many of the same, same state senators that I worked with day in and day out in Richmond, but now I encountered them in their home district. And these little mice that I saw and worked with in the state Senate were these roaring lions back in their home district. One after the other. It was striking how common this dichotomy was, this split personality from the capital to the home district. And I guarantee you, with rare exceptions, Republican and Democrat, your legislator is telling you they're a lot tougher, working a lot harder, and fighting for you a whole lot more than they really are in Washington. So that's where our leadership problem starts. And I don't want you to let your congressmen or your senators pull the wool over your eyes. You need to understand that they're trying to paint a picture for you that is a whole lot bolder, a whole lot more accomplished than what they're really doing in Washington.